Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, see for you. In today's session of important name reaction, we are going to see benzyne mechanism. The reaction is also known as addition reactions to the benzyne. Uh, actually, in this reaction, there are two types of consequent reactions. Elimination reaction is followed by the addition reaction. When a substrate undergoes elimination reaction, the intermediate formed is nothing but the benzyne hence this mechanism is called as the benzyne mechanism that means the reaction goes via formation of a benzyne okay so okay. and this benzyne that undergoes to the addition of another nucleophile it's a kind of SNAR reaction you can say so haloarenes do behave as uh, in this reaction so, for example, just we take chlorobenzene with KNH2NH3, it gives intermediate which is the benzyne and benzyne with another molecule of KNH2NH3 gives us aniline. So, just because of this triple bond, the name of the compound is benzyne as if of uh, alkyne. Okay. So, yeah, instead of KNH2, we can use NaNH2 also, sodamine, uh, just little bit difference of reactivity. Okay, so uh, this mechanism goes with another sort of nucleophile also, such as KOHH2O, where uh, we will get phenol via benzyme formation. So, so this is a sort of a reaction. Now, let's look at the mechanism. In mechanism, when chlorobenzene is being treated with NNH2, see sodamine is a basic one. So the nitrogen lone pair grabs to acidic proton and cause halogen to leave by the formation of triple bond. That is, uh, benzene is being formed here. This is what the intermediate of the reaction. And now to this intermediate, another mole of uh, NNH2 is being attacked. Uh, now this arine becomes electrophilic and hence NH2 here is the nucleophile one and attacks to the carbon and forms a negative charge and now here H plus comes into the picture which has been thrown off in the last step and here we get aniline from the chlorobenzene and in above reaction it was a phenol okay, from chlorobenzene if we use KOHH2 we will get phenol from chlorobenzene if we will use NH2, NH3 will get aniline. Now, uh, NH2 can attack in both ways, say A or A dash. Uh, and in this case, it doesn't matter whether it attacks from A or A dash, the product is going to be the same aniline. But let's take an, another example, such as a substituted chlorobenzene. Uh, we'll just take 2 methyl chlorobenzene with NH2. For the sec, we will directly consider the final products. See, we can get NH2 here at the ortho of methyl and we can get NH3 at the meta of it. Uh, what we say? Methyl. That is 2 methyl aniline and 3 methyl aniline are being the products. But out of which, which would be the major one and which would be the minor one. For that, let's see how the intermediate is being formed, how the benzene is being formed, methyl benzene. So see, this is what the structure of intermediate, if one mole of NH2, NH3 is being used with 2-methyl chlorobenzene. And now, another molecule, it has two possibilities to attack from let's say A and B, uh, sorry, A and A dash. It will attack from A, so here we see, it seems to be somewhat crowdy just because of the presence of methyl group and from a dash position the space is fully vacant so it can attack more readily from the a dash position that means the meta product is going to the major product and the other product is going to be the minor one so this is what the addition reactions to the benzyme which is known as the benzyme mechanism so guys if you will have any doubt please ask don't forget to